What's up guys? So we got two reviews today. The second one is Final Edition Floyd 94 overall long pass style. 6 foot 3, 95 speed, 97 catch, 96 release, 95 jump, 99 catch and traffic and spectacular, 74 elusiveness, and 97 route running. Now just like Greg Olson, his run after catch stats are mediocre, but just like Greg Olson, I just need you to catch. Now surprisingly, his route running was not as crisp all the time, but from you know once in a while, like right here, he did get solid separation. But sometimes the corner would be right there with him, you know. So I would suggest sticking to slant routes, not so much outs and curls, because like right here, you can see the corner was right there that could have been easily picked. So if you're gonna run routes with him, I would just say do slants and posts. Now 95 speed is not that fast, but as you can see here, it does not mean that he can never uh, burn a corner deep. But it's definitely not something that you should try to lean on too often. And as far as getting off the release, I was kind of surprised how much he struggled. I mean, yeah, he got off the release once in a while, but for the most part, you know, most corners seem to really hold him in his spot. Now, going into this review, I was hoping that he's catching traffic, you know, like on the sidelines and whatnot, the one-on-one -on -one battles. I was hoping that this would, you know, would be like his number one thing. And I'm not saying it was bad, but I'm not saying it was as good as, say, like Greg Olsen. I mean, I would give this part of his game like a solid B flat, you know, not a B minus, not a B plus, just a solid B. Now, when it came to the deep ball, I'm giving him the exact same grade that he gave his, you know, one-on-one -on -one battles on the sideline for the short passes, which is a B. He didn't really do anything that great, but it wasn't terrible either. So, you know, very surprising. I was hoping that, you know, these two things would be something he would just flourish at, but honestly, I just didn't see it, which is why I'm giving him just a B. Now, right here, number 15, you see him right there holding that block. If he was going up against a corner or a safety, he did a very good job of holding them in their place. But if he went up against like a linebacker or so, I would see them block shed very easily. So once again, a solid B when it came to run blocking. Of course, he did have his bad plays, but as far as struggling, the only thing that I saw that was very inconsistent was, like I said before, you know, getting off the press, uh, being the corners one on one whenever they try to press you at the line. So everything else was decent, but there was one thing that he did do above average. And of course, that one thing that he did that was above average was this right here. Catching the ball across the middle, getting slammed to the ground, and holding on to it for a catch like right here. Now, of course, I'm not trying to say he was one of the best at it. I'm not trying to say he was like a top five receiver in the entire game when it came to catching the ball across the middle or anything. But of, of everything he did, this is the only part of his game that got an A- minus or higher. So I guess overall, I don't want to say disappointing because he wasn't a terrible card, but definitely did not live up, live up to my expectations, which is a bit unfortunate. But you know what, guys? As always, if you pick him up, use him however you want to. But I feel going across the middle is the best way to get the most out of Michael Floyd. So that's going to wrap up this review, guys. My final thoughts. Do I think he's worth 30000 You know what? The way he played, man. If you're just going to use him across the middle, I'd say that's a fine price. Um, if not, i say pass on him for now. Unless you feel, of course, that you can get more out of him than I did. But anyways, guys. That's going to wrap this up. On offense, I'm waiting for that final edition DeAndre Hopkins to drop. I'm assuming that it's going to drop this Wednesday. If not, that's going to suck. So I'm not going to review, I'm not going to review any players on offense until I find out for sure if he's going to be coming out this uh, Wednesday. On defense, Gibson's review should be coming out tomorrow, hopefully. And I'll see you boys for that review. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Boys, Man of 17 is right around the corner. Fresh reviews on the way in just a couple of weeks or so. Can you believe it, man? So anyways, guys, I'll see you boys for that review. Peace.